Yo, check out. No, my bad. Game time, baby. I think it's time I set it. Buckle up. Here we go. Go get your popcorn and sit down. Showtime! You do not want to miss this. Oh, that's a poster! Can you dig it? Not really, huh? You're seeing the best players at the top of their games right now. Did you hear that? The best. He's a magician. He is just a handful. Yes! Yes! I have to say one word. Superb basketball. That's the only word you can use. Superb. Can't argue that. The best of the best. The best of the season. That's a wow wing right there. <laughs> What are the best performances? Am I being punked? I'm being punked. This is me being punked right now. These are the best performances of the season. Guaranteed, bar none. For the number seven performance, we head to Los Angeles for Kobe Bryant's 52-point outburst against the Mavericks. I was there, like, courtside when he did that. And that's just an amazing sight to see. Well, Kobe's an assassin. You know, he loves that stage. He seems to uh, rise to the occasion. Chamberlain 100 compared to what he's doing in this era is comparable. But while Kobe was virtually unstoppable, the Mavs would look to their own superstar at crunch time. That's when Dirk stepped it up. Oh, yeah, Dirk oh, tied yeah. up the game. He went into overtime. Back out, Levitsky puts up the three, puts it in, ties the game with two seconds remaining. But that's the best thing to watch Kobe is when somebody else steps it up. You got to the new level, yeah. I'm at the next one. Exactly. <laughs> that's, he he right? to the next level. Yeah, you're right. And I think that's one reason why I feel he should, he will, I think, he's going to uh, win the MVP this year. He's hearing the MVP chants all afternoon. And this year, I mean, he's done everything. Yeah, he was an MVP three years in a row. So he better get it this year. As Kobe bolstered his MVP credentials and piled up points, he was about to reach a familiar milestone. 50 points for Kobe Bryant, the 22nd time in his career he's hit that mark. See, I met Kobe when he first came out here. You know, we used to play video games together all the time, you know. But I haven't heard from you, Kobe. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm only letting you get 50. I'm only letting him get 50. That's it. No more. I could not have it. And as usual, he delivered when it mattered most, with 22 points in the fourth quarter and eight more in overtime, leading the Lakers to a 108-104 victory. I don't think there's anybody more feared than Kobe Bryant, you know, coming down the stretch. Extraordinary performance from Kobe Bryant with 52 points. You know, this is the type of game that you really want to play, you know, playing when you're growing up. I mean, it's a physical game, and, you know, you just kind of feel like you want to take it play by play and just do whatever you can to help your team win. And, uh, you know, I got hot and just kept, they kept on coming to me. We ain't losing today. We continue the countdown at number six with LeBron James and his 50-point masterpiece at Madison Square Garden. Oh! LeBron has a great beard. I'm just going to start right there. The King Tut of it all is pretty fantastic. Check out what LeBron James had in store for the crowd. When he does one of those dunks, you get that, you kind of know that he's feeling good that night and the other team better watch out. Well, I like to, you know, be up to any challenge, really. I don't like to back down from anybody on the court, but I feel like if I had to play him personally, I wouldn't even know where to begin. I mean, he's so strong and so fast and so gifted skillfully. I don't know where to begin to even address somebody that athletically blessed. James gets inside, up and under. Oh, pretty move. And see, there's the beauty of LeBron James. I mean, he, he sees the court so well. James to the basket. Wow, LeBron James with authority. That's the final seconds, first half. Neither team can stop the other right now. James at the buzzer, nails the three-pointer. Count it. LeBron James electrifies the crowd, and he's got 20 points at halftime. LeBron James to the basket, draws the foul and puts it in. And even when he gets hit, he still has plenty of strength left to knock it down. Long three, shot clock winding down and he puts it in. LeBron James erupting here. But Jones can't get it to fall and James rips the rebound. That's his eighth rebound to go along with 10 assists and 46 points plus four steals. It's, it's, it's amazing, you know, that, that a guy so young can have so much talent, but so very unselfish. You know, he had 50 points and 10 assists. You know, I, I think that's a great accomplishment. LeBron James just torching the Knicks. James 
Another three. It's good. To get a standing ovation in the, in the greatest basketball arena in the world um, is a dream come true for me. It's one of the best things that ever happened to me. At five is Dwight Howard's super performance in the Sprite Slam Dunk. All right, two more. How we look, Daddy? <laughs> We've never had a guy this tall who can jump like this. This guy flat out scary. Oh, my goodness. Yes, indeed. Seven foot or nothing. I don't care. Every player in the NBA gave him a standing ovation. That's scary, y'all. That, that's when you knew that you had a great dunk, when all the players stood up. Even though he's seven foot, he's jumping just as high as the, the shorter guys, you know, and, and for him to be that creative and to be able to think of the stuff is why Dwight is a freak of nature. <laughs> Superman is in the building. Yes, he is. He's got the cape moving. He's got it slapping. Oh, my God. Oh, you win. You win, young fella. You win, Superman. Just the pure pageantry. For Dwight Howard to put on a Superman cape and slam dunk in the All-Star game, that was something. NBA entertainment at his best. The way he dunks the ball is, is just sick. He, he's, he's ridiculous. I got to win this for the big man, dog. He's got the building in his hands right now. So every time he walks up, they're going to go crazy. The one that don't, they don't talk about is when they threw up, tapped it off the board, caught it, and dunked it. That was sick. Oh! oh! I'm, leaving, I'm leaving! I'm leaving the building! I, I quit my job. I've never Why? seen anything Why? like that in my life. Hey, are you kidding me? He's setting, setting some new standards here. He, uh, the standards are changed. <laughs> He's a video game. He's not a real person. This is Superman Dwight Howard. I'm taking off. At number four in our countdown, the overall performance of teams in the ultra-competitive Western Conference. Let's not even get started on the West. I mean, how ridiculous is that? With the top six teams in the conference finishing within two games of each other, fans can see thrilling showdowns almost every night in the Wild West. And living in the West and getting to go to the Western Conference games, oh, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. Every team in the Western Conference is so potent. It's just, it's just not an off night. You got Dallas, you got Houston, you got San Antonio, you got Golden State. You got all these teams that's very easy to get up for. Out West, you know, those Lakers have surprised a lot of people. You know, and Paul Gasol, the move with Paul Gasol, you know, I'm still going to check the records on that one. I want to find out how that happened. As the regular season was winding down, the playoff race in the West grew even tighter, and the pressure was intense. Never in my 11 years I've seen anything like this. O'Neal going to save it. Watch out! Oh! It's scary because you lose a couple games. I mean, you may draw from one to two to six and seven. The competition was so tough that the Houston Rockets went on the second longest winning streak in NBA history and still couldn't break out of the pack. To win 22 in a row and there's not really any breathing room between you and the teams behind you, I think this again shows how tight the West is. With so many powerful teams, even a star-studded contender could get lost in the shuffle, like the new-look Phoenix Suns. That's my squad, finally! Now we got the Phoenix. Now we got to talk to Steve Nash, Mari Stoudemire. They got the big diesel now. To put it all in perspective, the Denver Nuggets had their first 50-win season in 20 years and still finished as the lowest seed in a conference where only the strongest could survive. The West is crazy, you know, it's unbelievable that every night you go out in the West, you're going to have your hands full.